its music wove through the air, shredding like an electric guitar, or buzzing like a mosquito in her ear, or wailing like a frightened child, or arching with passion and delight like a river in a storm. Ritter's chest and stomach worked in time with his breath and the notes he played. His muscles shuddered to keep up with the horn. His, the tendons in his hands rolled with every stanza. He wrestled with the creature clawing through him. When the tune overtook him, he bent low, and the horn hung like a stone around his neck. He screamed into the instrument holding him hostage, his face red and sweating, his voice tangling itself between the notes and frantically trying to escape. He played until his entire body shook and his joints threatened to separate from their sockets. He grabbed onto the song's tail and dug his heels in, forced it to drag him through the mud, slowed it down and calmed it long enough to free himself from its grip.